What's happening everyone? My name is Phil with PrecisionLED.com and today we have our 2015 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport, that's the JK chassis, we'll be installing LED headlights on. Now this installation is compatible with your models specifically 2006 and up, that is the third generation JK. And we have the Unlimited Sport but it also works on the Rubicon as well as the Sahara Edition. There are only two tools we need for this installation, and that is a T15 torque wrench to remove the headlights and a flathead screwdriver. Let's pop the hood and get started. As you can see here, we've already installed a LED headlight here on our passenger side. And we're gonna show you the same process that we use to access and install on the driver's side. Now, the first step that needs to happen is this grill needs to be removed to access the bolts to hold the headlight in place. To do so, there's a number of pull tabs here at the top. We'll show you how to remove. And the connectors for our turn signal lights have to be removed as well uh, because they're attached here to the grill. So, we'll go ahead and change the angle. We'll get started here on the top. For the pull tabs here on the top, we're gonna to be using the flathead screwdriver. And there's one, two, three, four, five, and six of them that you have to remove. So, you're just gonna start here on the side. There's indentations where the flathead screwdriver will go. You pop up the center section first, and then you should be able to remove the entire pull tab. Do that for all six, and move on to the next step. All right, and we'll move on to the connectors here on the side. We're looking now at the passenger side, and this is your turn signal. And to remove the connector, it's a two-step process. I'm gonna angle this down a bit so you can see better. This red pin here is a locking pin, which prevents you from pushing down here to release the connector from the assembly. First thing you need to do is pull this red tab back, uh, and you'll hear a clicking sound that lets you know it's all the way back in position. There you go. And that means that you can now push down on the tab here and release it. And that's how the connector comes off. You really have to make sure that that's pulled all the way back uh, before it comes out. You want to repeat the same process on the driver's side and then we'll be able to remove the front grill. We now have the top released along with our connectors released and so we're going to pull from the bottom and there are six clips holding the bottom in place uh, but they are, uh, you don't have to actually do anything, you just have to pull. We're going to start from one side and just give a good yank and that releases one side and the other side pull, and that releases the other side. You can see all the clips right here, and that's what we are pulling out. Now the grill is removed. At this point, there are four T15 bolts here that remove this uh, chrome rim from around the headlight, and that's what actually keeps it in place. So. We'll take our T15 torque wrench and remove these. All right, now that this comes out, we need to separate this chrome cover from the light itself. And to remove that old headlight, there's a connector here. Same concept, there's a red um, locking pin. You need to pull this back, and then you can release from the connector. This little piece that fell off right here is the release valve for your moisture control. Let's put that back in. And we no longer need this. You can set this off to the side. Now, this particular version of our LED headlight uses an H4 connector, and obviously this is a 9037 style connector. And so your kit comes with two adapters. The first converts H4 to 9003, um, or sorry, 9007. And the second is a capacitor to better control power flow to the headlight. 
So the first thing you're going to do is connect in our adapter here. Plug that one in. And then you are plugging in the capacitor here. And then from here, you're plugging into the actual headlight. Now there's plenty of room here in the assembly for all the components to go inside. And then you wanna make sure on the headlight itself, there's one, two, three uh, guiding rails to help you get this in place. Just make sure those line up. And at this point, you're going to put the ring back on top. And the portion here where they connect goes at the bottom and that goes around. You're just gonna plug that back in. Or actually, you're going to uh, screw these back in, sorry. And before we go ahead and reassemble everything, you do wanna make sure the light works. So go ahead and try turning the headlights on. And as you can see, they work fine. Go ahead and test the high beams as well, here on the bottom. That one works as well. So now we're safe to do final reassembly. All right, we'll show you how to put that grill back in place the proper way. You gotta make sure that these connectors here on the bottom for your turn signals uh, are connected as well, and you'll be all set. To get our grill back in place, we're gonna be connecting here from the bottom first. Now, there are the six clips that we uh, use some force to remove, and there's a central guiding pin here. Now, in front of the intercooler here, this main bar, there is a central pin where the guiding pin goes in. You wanna line that up first, and then you wanna start applying pressure to the clips all snap into place. Now that the bottom section is secure, you're gonna take your six pull tabs you took out earlier and put those in. Now, these things need to start out with the central uh, tube portion pulled out, and then you can put it in, and then you snap this down, and that locks it in place. Put it in, and you lock it down. Do that for all six. At this point, you want to make sure that you are reconnecting your turn signals here. Go ahead and do that. Make sure you take that red connector, or the red locking pin, and you push it in just to make sure the connector doesn't come out. And now we're going to go ahead and test the lights. We've got our low beam, high beam. We'll just test to make sure the third signal's working. All right, and that's all there is to it. And that's the end of the installation. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at help at precisionle.com or you can reach us online and submit a support ticket at www.precisionled.com slash contact. Please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video or enjoy the process for what we do. It really does help us out when we make the next one knowing that there's people out there watching the videos. Have a good one.